What people might not know is that their car has a brain. So this is a typical brain. Actually, this is the one that controls the engine, but it's one of maybe 100 in the vehicle, which are called ECUs. Uh, the big challenge we have now is uh, we have to validate the autonomous driving functions. In the past, uh, to make our validations, we had to go to the car and drive and so on, but uh, now we have this facility where we can uh, make sure that everything is working fine. Nissan ProPilot is a system that uh, makes you drive in a motorway in a safer way. The vehicle automatically will brake and keep the distance with the front of the vehicle. Just to test this uh, function, we need more than 20 different systems that need to interact in a few milliseconds to secure that everything is working as we are expecting. Ignacio and I, I would say we are quite passionate of mm -hmm. the technology. It's quite uh, fascinating seeing many ECUs communicating at one millisecond, hundreds of messages at the same time. It's very complex. When I was young, I was passionate about electronics. So I can apply all my intelligence in the development of new technologies. The vehicle you can see in the market is part of you. Uh, it's uh, amazing. We need to, uh, let's say, reinvent ourselves because you can be an expertise in combustion engines, but moving towards uh, electricity, it's a completely different environment. You're always looking to the technologies and what is coming to the future because we know that we will be responsible to apply them on our testing facilities. Yeah.